everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start learning about fractions using some real life examples. Let's dig in. So fractions are really just part of a whole. So let's count how many slices are there in this pizza. Okay, good job, there are four slices. And now to start thinking about fractions, we can start thinking about some of the different toppings that I put on it. So how many slices have pepperonis on them? Okay, you got it, there's two slices with pepperonis on them and there's four slices total so we can make a fraction out of that. We can say that two out of four of the slices have pepperoni. How many slices have mushrooms on them? Okay, you got it, one. So we can say one out of four have mushrooms. And we can write it like this as a fraction. Okay, how many slices have olives? Okay, you got it, one slice out of four slices. So here's our fraction. We can also call it one fourth. All right, now here's my newest creation. And I wanna see if you can tell what fraction of the slices have green bell peppers on them. What do you think? What is that top number or numerator? What is that bottom number or denominator? Okay, you know there's three slices that have green bell peppers, so that's my numerator or top number. And the bottom number is the total slices, so I know that it's three fourths or three out of four. Great job. All right, so also what we need to talk about is finding the fraction of a set of items. So it's not always gonna be, you know, a whole pizza that we're looking at. So let's take a look at these items I have laying out in my kitchen. And what do you think the fraction of these items that are mushrooms? Okay, you might be thinking that, well, we should probably start by counting the mushrooms. So one, two, and then to find the denominator in any fraction, you need to know the total, right? So why don't we count up all of the items then? Two, four, six, eight. Okay, so two out of eight is our fraction of the items that are mushrooms. All right, can you tell me the fraction that are bell peppers? Okay, so I hope you counted up the bell peppers, three, and then we can use that same denominator, eight, for all of these, so three eighths, great job. All right, why don't you try pepperoni and olives. You can pause the video and we'll come back and check your work. Okay, great, I'm getting two out of eight is the pepperonis, so two eighths, and one eighth is the olives, great job. All right, now let's do a problem with the cake in my kitchen. So I am going to serve two slices of this cake. And I want you to tell me what fraction of this cake do you see in the picture now? What's left? Okay, awesome. You might be thinking, well, there's three slices left. And then what would my denominator be? How many slices were in the whole cake? Great, five, so this is three-fifths. Okay, what amount did I serve? Okay, awesome, two-fifths, great job. Ding! All right, well, I hope this helped you learn about fractions, and I hope you feel more comfortable with them now, and I will see you soon on my next fraction video. Bye!